Hey Chess, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tech Along with Chai. For those who are new here, my name is Chai and we're sharing, at this channel, we're sharing the interest of people, culture, traveling and we drink a lot of coffee along the way. But not in this episode, we're trying to find out what people are doing here in Bangkok. We're going to ask the foreigners, why Bangkok? Why or oh why are you here? What's happening? We're not alone. There are a few people running around, so hopefully they have time for us to uh, yeah to have a little chat with us at the end of each little interview hopefully we're gonna gain some wisdom because I'm gonna ask them if they have some wisdom to pass on some knowledge to pass on this can bring a little bit of depth to the conversation as well so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an interesting one again at the end of the video I'm gonna do two special shout outs and I know there's quite a few new subscribers here from the Roman cook and from global travel mate so I'm not gonna bother you with this uh, I will do that at the end of the video can I ask you a few questions Maybe in the shade, hey, like, uh, where are you walking to? Maybe we walk towards, where are you going? Uh, uh, walking here for a look at the park. Yeah, look at the park. Yeah. Nice one, uh, me too, me too. My name is Chai, what's your name? Yeah, my name is Paul. Paul, nice to meet you, man. My name is Chai from the Netherlands, where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Germany. Germany? Oh, we're neighbors, mate. Yeah. Mate, yeah. You're I'm doing a vlog? Yeah, I'm doing a vlog. I'm, um, I'm actually making an episode about the people, the foreigners that are in Bangkok right now. Okay. And I asked him the question, what are you doing here? Like, uh, are you on holiday or are you living here? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on holiday. You're actually Location, on holiday? Uh, yes. Okay, okay. Since, uh, since three weeks, with yeah. my stepsister, she's Thai, and we visit her family in Ayutthaya. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How long are you going to be here in Bangkok for? Uh, I've been here for a month. Oh. So, oh, yeah. in the last week, we uh, do a road trip to Phuket. Oh, you go to Phuket? Yes. Are you going to or you uh, did it already? No, we're going to. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, nice. H how are you going to do it? Uh, during a road trip. Uh, like with a car? Yes. Oh. Pick up. Oh, cool. Our aunt is living here. Mate, so you have like a local experience. Yes. That's yeah. perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. It's my first time in another continent. Yeah. Oh, another continent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's a complete other culture because uh, before I visited only Switzerland and Italy and so this is a uh, so new culture for me. You already told us like, oh, this is actually a really clean city and nothing like you expected basically, right? Yes. But do you, do you have anything else to pass on to, uh, to the world? Uh, maybe related to Thailand or related to Bangkok, this trip? All tuk-tuks I talking and I took uh, a bunch of them. Yeah. Are very friendly and not um, overrunning for money. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do agree in a certain extent though. I'm gonna have to tell you, I've been here several times now and uh, especially, but you're gonna have to fix a price though. Yes. If, you don't, if, you don't say, if you don't mention a price before you leave. Then, uh, yeah. But it may be not the case. I heard Tyrus Time, uh, Pete from Tyrus Time saying in a, yeah, a few episodes ago that he reckons that you can now step in a taxi and the meter just go, goes on. You, you don't get ripped off because there's not no mass tourism, and just people are just happy to have you here because yes, we miss yes. tourism. And now you're like one of the first tourists back again. Yes, yeah, since the first of November. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the little knowledge that you want to pass on is, uh, yeah, don't be afraid for the tuk-tuk drivers actually. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a good experience always. Yeah. So uh, some of them are strange um, because <laughs> they, yeah, <laughs> want uh, give me some. Other experience. Ah, with so, the ladies. Ladies, yeah. uh, one at a time. So I drive in over 20 times with the tuk tuk, and one tuk tuk far uh, driver uh, asked me at 10 o'clock in the evening yeah. um, when I drive from the Khao San road back to the hotel. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no. Oh, okay, um, okay. You, s you said no, thank you. No, that's. Uh, did he appreciate your answer though? Did he say, okay, no problem, or did you push? Uh, he pushed me yeah. um, because he said I had a girlfriend and he said, oh, everybody had a girlfriend, but ah. what, uh, yeah. So yeah. Like so, so basically what I, I kind of want to uh, put on top of that is that whenever you come to Thailand, don't be scared, but be, uh, yeah, just be aware and be strong. You know, people would like to push you or maybe a certain direction. 95% of the people here or 99% of the people don't even think about pushing but there are obviously like everywhere else in the world and we're living yes. this is a big city as well like every big city you have to be a little bit careful right yes and, uh, of course yeah, yeah common sense use your common sense yes prices before are so, mo so much low uh, for food and everything how about your flights were they expensive 
No, it uh, was normal price uh, yeah. for $500. $500 return? Uh, yes. Like one, one, uh, two ways? Yes. What? Yes. 500 yes. US? <laughs> oh my God, that's really cheap. 580. And, and how about, because I had to stay, in April I arrived, in a very expensive quarantine hotel. Did you have to stay in a quarantine? Oh yes, yes, yes. I've been uh, for two days in the sandbox and yeah. we are not known when uh, our test come back. So we have to book three days and that was expensive for oh. $240. Oh really? Yes. Yeah, so oh, okay. Sandbox okay. Was very oh, so you kind of have to book three days. That's what you your your experience yeah, anyway. Because they said uh, the maximum when the test come back is three days, so we yeah. don't know if we need the three days or not. So did you need it or no? We uh, need two days. So okay. The morning of the second day. Yeah. Come back. Paul, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. You too. And uh, yeah, I wish you a pleasant trip. Good luck on the road trip. Thanks. All right. Take care, man. See ya. Cheers. Bye bye. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah, no problem, no problem. Yeah, it is Bangkok Champ, so in Chiang Mai, I think there's like two, maybe three people didn't have time for us. And I've got the feeling now we in Bangkok, we're gonna go to Amsterdam and then we're gonna go to London. So I kind of expecting to have uh, people have less and less time. Because it is a busy city, don't get me wrong. Like I'm not gonna bash Bangkok at all because it is a nice, vibrant city. Uh, yeah, an amazing city, I would say. Uh, so nothing against it at all. Don't get me wrong here. Yeah, because your accent, my boyfriend's Dutch. Oh, okay, okay. So Do you speak Dutch a little bit? Mm, very, very not good. Oh, oh, wow! Yeah, well, you got the accent very, right. Very I hear the. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my name is Chai. What's your name? What's your name again? Chai. Chai. Yeah. Oh. Like, uh, yeah, I believe it's a Thai name as well. It's very interesting because <laughs> your name will be very hot in Thailand because Chai means yes. Yeah, 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 exactly. I, every yeah. time I, I hear yes, then I look up. Hi, Kurt David, how are oh. you? Good morning. <laughs> oh, it's not getting worse. Uh, that's already hoping that's that, already yeah. Good. Nice to see you. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Wow. Enjoy your export. This is so nice, actually, because I came from uh, Chiang Mai, mm -hmm. and I kind of want to show people, because a, a lot of um, opinions about Bangkok, it's like it's a very high-paced city, Mm -hmm. people don't have time for each other mm -hmm. um, and then now you're just like hello like you're in the neighborhood almost yeah. where are you from i'm chinese you're i was chi born in china but okay. i grew up in france ah. so i'm french uh, and for nationality my name is pauline pauline yeah nice to meet you uh pleasure is the same sorry pleasure is the same ah yeah. that's lovely that's lovely you're a beautiful lady anyway, so that's I, very nice. I... That's probably... He's very nice. <laughs> He's so charming, I can't refuse, right? <laughs> no, um, anyway... I like flattering, and, uh, that's human nature, Well, right? you, you also told me that you have a boyfriend, so I dare to, you know, give you a little compliment. Anyway, th um, what, I, what I wanted to uh, ask you, actually, what, why we're here, is yeah. uh, why or why Bangkok? So what's, what are people doing here? In Bangkok, what, what are you With doing expat, here? Expat, yeah. Uh, well, not mainly, mainly you in person. Like, what, what brought you to the city? Uh, work. work. Work, yeah. What, what is it? What you do? I before I was, I work in Switzerland, and uh, I got uh, high hunted by a Thai company, so oh, yeah. that's what brought me here. Okay. And uh, yes, I had a reservation whether I want to come to Thailand. Yeah. Uh, coming from European countries, but uh, personally, I like to go back to Asia because I'm of Asian origin. Yeah. And also, I want to come to a warm country. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which uh, is a very basic instinct. Yeah, I think everyone likes. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people do most like. People yeah, most people like warm weather. Yeah. But you don't you miss the beach, beach here? Like in Bangkok, there's no beach. There's no. What's? It's. We are. Uh, we're talking about one hour and a half to Pattaya and the two hour. <laughs> to Wahing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. For if you live in Hong Kong, that's pretty much the distance you need to drive by car to go to the beach. Right. So yes, it's just not called Bangkok, it's called a suburb of Bangkok. Pauline has been great. She told us everything what she liked about the city. Unfortunately, we experienced some technical issues and we lost some footage of this interview. She told us she loves the culture, the endless amounts of different restaurants and the energy of the city. You gave us a clear idea about uh, what Bangkok is about, like the vibrant city. It is, a, it's a, it is um, you know, what the pluses are about mm -hmm. Bangkok. It mm -hmm. has everything. Yeah. How about the, a little minor? The, the um, I don't think about negative things in uh -huh. general. 
uh, I don't like to think about negative things generally. Right. Um, uh, if I would say uh, in the manner, it's really difficult to find it in, in Bangkok. So yeah, I would say the wine is pretty expensive. So the city. The wine, the wine yeah. is very. Really oh, the wine, the wine. The alcohol. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the wine most is very. Important yeah. thing in the life. <laughs> yeah. Not for the design to under minus eighteen, you have a no, 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 control, no. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No yeah. good the wine. No. no. Good for those minor eighteen. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Anything, anything is possible. This channel, anything. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then it's quite expensive uh, for for whatever the reason, the import tax or whatsoever. So. Yeah. Um, consumption of a glass of wine is basically a bottle of wine price in ah. Europe. So it's like you pay. That's the biggest miner, you would say. Wow, the price of alcohol, the biggest miner. The biggest miner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm very foody and yeah. I like dying wine. Yeah, so. well, and you're from France as well, right? So yes. you know your wine, your good wine. You know, it doesn't both, have to be expensive. Uh, my both culture criteria of China and France all love gastronomy. And good things, and good wine, and good drinks, and good food. So yeah, right. I, uh, I get you. Take that part from me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, do you have any wisdom to pass on before I leave you? Uh, leave you running. If you were to come to to uh, to to visit Thailand, yeah. Um, there's a lot of things to say, to experience, to enjoy. Just make sure that you don't want to stay here permanently, because that can be a big possibility yeah okay it's too good i think so okay i think so thank you so much pauline see ya bye bye if you love your food if you love the energy of a city uh, yeah it is here i also like that social bit of it these interviews we always get to know uh, lovely people some interesting people uh, i wouldn't say weird just different we meet a lot of different people and that's a good thing because we all different champ. We don't we don't want to be too mainstream here. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to find some interesting people or any people. Hello, people, people of Bangkok. <laughs> They're just not here, mate. They're just not here. What's your name? Uh, my name is Kota. 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 Oh. Oh, you got the call. Excuse me. That's okay. I have a call. No more. No problem. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, the busy city. It's a busy city. Nice enough. He wanted to have a little chat with us. Yeah, he got saved by the bell, didn't he? <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm going to grab some lunch and I'll see you in yeah, a quick second, eh? I wanted to stay in the park because it is really loud outside of the park. Pretty much everywhere we go, there's traffic. Uh, yeah, a lot of traffic, <laughs> a lot of noise. We had to leave Benjikiti Park to get some lunch and then I thought, you know what? We're just going to carry on. Uh, these little interviews outside of the park. I'm not going to take you for lunch today. I'm only interested in the people today, the foreigners living in Bangkok. So yeah, on our way to the restaurant, hopefully we'll bump into another foreigner. We're going to ask the same question and I'm sorry about the noise around it. I hope I can edit a lot of noise out. Anyway, we're going to ask it one more time. Why or why? Bangkok. So cool, uh, we just bumped into uh, our new friend. Uh, hey Jan, what's your name? Sorry? I'm Bastian. 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 Nice to meet you. So we uh, just walk here. There's a little bit of a quiet street. Okay. Just a slow walk. Bastian, um, yeah, I just asked you inside of the 7-Eleven, like, hey, can I ask you a few questions? Because of you told me you moved here like a month ago. I moved here a month ago, but I used to live here when I was younger. So yeah. like 10, 12 years ago. Okay. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Where are you from? I'm from France. I was playing uh, poker for a living. Poker? Yeah, at that time, not, not anymore. Okay. No. And oh, yeah. like it was 2000, 2008. Yeah. And a lot of people were coming here for, well, basically you got it. I mean, that's what like, how are they called? Uh, digital nomads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like what people did before digital nomads. We you used to play poker and yeah. find a place. I mean, that was nice, Wait. nice to live in. Yeah. Where you get a nice quality of life for cheap. I yeah. mean, now Bangkok is more expensive than it was 12 years ago. Yeah, very, very, uh, yeah. changed a lot, it changed a lot. Yeah, it changed a lot. So what, what are you doing now? Now I have a company. You have a company, I, yeah? I, I stopped playing poker like 10 years ago because I oh, was yeah. not very good and oh. the game got tougher. Yeah. And so I moved back to France and uh, now we have a company that sells electronic cigarettes. Electronic cigarettes? Electronic cigarettes ah. in Europe. 
Okay. I'm so like. Do you do you smoke yourself? I stopped actually. Oh yeah, yeah, you it did. Works. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So you say like you used it to stop. I, I use it to stop. Yes. 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 Oh, I, okay. I've smoked for like ten years and use actually cigarette for like two or three years. Yeah. And th then I just stopped. Awesome, man. And well, and I mean, no, the company basically run itself. I mean, I can work remotely. Yeah. And I mean, I like the weather here. Yeah. So you you moved here for uh, like a month ago, but you're planning to stay here for a long time. Did you? I, I'm planning to stay here maybe half of the year. Oh yeah. Like definitely when during the winter in France. Yeah. I'm going to stay here. Okay. And during the summer in France, I'll go back in France and I'll see. Maybe I'll do six months, oh. six months. Maybe I'll stay a bit more here. Awesome, know. awesome, awesome. So cool. So you can live wherever you want. I can live wherever Man, I want. Man, that's, that's the dream for a lot of people, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have been here before. So conclude everything together. What do you like so good about Bangkok? Not only the weather, like the other, the other things, like the other aspects. People think Thailand is like a less developed country, but I actually think I'm more living in the future. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a megalopolis like we don't have in, uh, in Europe. And so it's a, I mean, you can order everything, you can have everything at any time. Yeah. So it's something I like. And well, it's, I like where it's located, actually. I mean, when you live in Europe, yeah, you've been to, to Spain, you've been yeah. to Italy for a weekend. Yeah. But after a few years, you've done it all. Yeah. When you live here, well, maybe I'll go to Cambodia or Laos for a weekend. I mean, obviously, it's a bit more difficult now. Yeah, at the moment, yeah. But I mean, it's like novelty to you meet a lot of different cultures. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'll get bored of it after a few years, but like for now, it's yeah. a good change of do you, space for me. Do you meet a lot of local people here in Bangkok as well, or is it only expats? Not yet. I, I still have a lot of friends from here who moved yeah. 10 or 12 years ago and actually stayed here. Yeah. So now I'm like evolving in that, yeah. that circle, but yeah. I'm actually starting next month. I will start to learn Thai. Oh yeah. Because I mean, if you want to take a country seriously, yeah. like you have to learn the language. Yeah, good idea. And, and probably that time I'll try to make some local friends. Yeah. Yeah. At this time, still with the expat circles. Of course, yeah. Okay. Is it okay if I get a little bit political here? You can, yeah, you may, yeah, of course. Um, Anything. Consider communism. Consider communism. Like, as a real alternative to the problem we face today. Communism, not like at what it was in yeah. the USSR, like the, um, the school of communism, the, there's a lot of literature about communism yeah. that has evolved quite differently from what it was, uh, what has been tried before. Yeah. And I mean, some of those schools, some of those things you can read about it, um, could really help solve the problem yeah. we have in the world today. Yeah, yeah. That are mostly caused by capitalism. So yeah, I don't yeah. know if that's the kind of answer okay. you expected. But no, I didn't, good. but uh, I, I love it because it's a different, you know, we meet different people, different backgrounds, different thoughts. That's what this channel is about, man. Okay. Uh, I, I love traveling and I love the world and I love the people, whoever thinks different. Mm -hmm. I think we should speak that out and we should respect and uh, yeah, and listen to each other. Yes, I think course. more, more, more. That's my advice. That's my advice. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I don't uh, uh, like instantly agree with you. Yeah. But there are definitely, uh, you know, I, it makes me think again. Like, consider it. Yeah. Try, yeah, try yeah, to yeah. read about it. Yeah. With what it's, I mean, what is proposition for a society actually. Yeah. And yeah, just expand from that. Just think about it. Man, thank you so much. Well, thank you. And uh, yeah, thanks for your time. I think you needed to go that way, no? Uh, I... Oh, you didn't know? You're I just don't walking remember. Yeah, no, I think oh, so. I okay. need to go that way, okay. yes. Okay, I'm going this way. I'm gonna okay, get some well, lunch. What are you eating? What do you got? It's, uh, I don't know, it's... Oh. Yeah, breakfast. I want to do a special shout out first to Vanessa. Vanessa bought us the first cup of coffee on buymeacoffee.com. Uh, I'm saying bought us because any penny that is coming into this channel is going towards the channel. So yeah, thank you Vanessa. You're the first person that directly financially contributes to this channel. Thank you millions. Thanks a lot. Uh, I think thank you millions. That's Italian. Thank God, Emile. Grazie mille. <laughs> don't know if there's any Italians watching. I don't think so. But uh, yeah, 
Thank you, Vanessa, one more time. I also have to do a special shout out to Virginia. She is the first person, and this was ex exactly at the same time this happened. What a coincidence. She's the first person that is joining this channel. There's a little join button um, that is actually allowing you to be a member. Whatever you do, all the subscriptions, all the likes, comments, or just the views. If you're really enjoying this and you're coming back once in a while to check out the channel, feel free to do that. It is a free channel. Thank you for watching, champs. Merry Christmas. I would like to say from the center, the city center, really. Enchakiti Park. Bye for now and stay champ.